Bijan Robinson might be on the verge of doing what Jameer Gibbs has been doing, the progression of getting better and better and, and filling the shoes and becoming the player that we all thought he would become. Gibbs has become the player we all thought he'd become, and it took a while. This tweet comes from Diana Rossini. Fantasy owners, gamblers, and fans have been pissed off about the usage of Bijan Robinson. You're damn straight we've been pissed off about it. In the red zone for Atlanta, that could change really soon. And according to Diana Rossini, this quote right here, coming from a Falcon source, we are confident that we will see the best of him down the stretch we don't know if we're gonna get what we've been seeing out of jameer gibbs for Bijan robinson we don't know if we're gonna see what we saw with gibbs get replicated here jameer gibbs has been unfolding right in front of our very eyes unfolding in a good way the progression jameer gibbs's game log over the last handful of weeks has been absolutely incredible everybody's scoring formats quite different but against baltimore week 7 27.6 points against las vegas in week 8 29 9.9 by week 26.2 21.5 against chicago in week 11 after a putrid beginning where he's getting seven attempts seven attempts 17 8 jameer gibbs is on a freaking terror snap percentage 87 70 58 that's all he needs 58 to 70 percent we don't need him getting 90 we don't need him getting 100 he scored more points in week number eight getting 70 percent of the snap share than getting 87 percent of the snap share and 100 percent of the defensive attention he scored 26.20 points nearly identical at 58 percent of the snap share versus 87 percent of the snap share and 100 percent of the defensive attention Bijan robinson's not being utilized not being utilized at all and there's a risk factor here that he might continue to be misused because arthur smith doesn't know what he's doing but logically it does feel like eventually regardless of how long it's taken arthur smith to get to this conclusion it does feel like according to this report according to a couple other reports and using common sense that they will start trying to figure out what they have in Bijan. some might say oh smitty they're just gonna rest him why use this guy now put mileage on him because you can't shelf a player and put cobwebs on a player and then roll them out the next year and see what you got they're gonna run this kid and i and i truly feel that we're gonna be late to the party in some cases some people will say smitty what good is it he's not doing anything for me i'm out of the playoffs and that's gonna suck for people that are out of the playoff hunt and Bijan goes absolutely bananas but a lot of people that own him are still in the mix because we drafted tank dells we drafted a bunch of guys popping off we're okay i have a lot of teams where i have Bijan, and yeah maybe i don't have nine wins but i've got seven i'm in the playoff hunt I've got eight wins. I've been waiting on Bijan. Bijan wasn't bad at the beginning of the year. Running back seven in week number one. Running back nine in week number two. Running back 11 in week number four. And in week 13, he was running back 13. But really, the drought was running back 37, running back 18, running back 57, running back 18, running back 21. It's almost like he got worse. I mean, statistically, he did get worse. Arthur Smith made him worse. But through about, I think it was like week four or five he was running back he was in the top 10 it was really the migraine game in week seven where things took a turn the one attempt this one week seven in red the one attempt then 11 attempts then 11 and it wasn't until last week where we got a green line again across the board 75 percent of the snap share 22 totes 95 yards a tutty and i feel like we're on the verge of of a good little run here i feel like we're on the verge of seeing what happened to jameer gibbs happen here with uh Bijan robinson and if we look at a schedule moving forward coming into week number 12 not a great matchup against new orleans but the new york jets against the run tampa is not a, a great matchup but carolina indy chicago he literally could finish in weeks 15, 16, 17 inside the top eight running backs, I think, very comfortably. And I hope that he's much better than that. I hope that this entire stretch, even with a couple of tough matchups, he is absolutely cranking out Jameer Gibbs type volume and we're singing Kumbaya holding hands saying Red Rover Red Rover send Bijan right over I can't guarantee that we're going to get the total turnaround bounce back Jameer Gibbs treatment I can't guarantee that all I can tell you is that if there is an RB if you can even trade in a lot of leagues right now some some leagues let you trade through week 12 13 most leagues are done around week 11 but if you can trade entering week 12 and you need an RB that has top five 
running back potential rb1 potential that can be had well outside of of like top five running back value is this man right here and if you own him start preparing for that miracle run that potential Jameer Gibbs run again nothing guaranteed but I feel very hopeful that we're about to see this uptick in production I hope we walk into January 1 of 2024 saying Jameer Gibbs and Bijan are who we thought they were and maybe it didn't unfold the way we wanted when we wanted but we know we were correct in identifying the talent and Bijan Robinson hopefully is running back one two or three walking into 2024. Now from a dynasty perspective in terms of trade let's say you don't have Bijan Robinson I'm highly recommending you go kick the tires on a few trade offers go try and give up first rounders maybe two first rounders for Bijan robinson especially if you've got probably mid to late first round picks let's say i knew i was going to get the number one overall pick in 2024 and 2025 would i give up both those picks for Bijan? probably not but odds are if you watch this channel your team's pretty pretty good am i giving up seven five 10 overall, two of those kind of picks for Bijan Robinson, you bet your bottom dollar. In fact, if I knew they were all mid, not even close to being early first round at all, all mid to late first round picks, I'd give up three first round picks for Bijan Robinson in a dynasty league. And again, while people might say, Smitty, no one's trading Bijan in a dynasty, try. He's been so bad, according to his owner. Arthur Smith and the Falcons organization scaring Bijan owners right now so badly. You probably don't even know the temperature, the true temperature of Bijan owners right now in your league. So kick the tires. And if you can't do some sort of one for one or draft pick only trade, get creative. Maybe you listened to this show and you picked up Dalton Kincaid and you got double tight end options. You can maybe trade one away in conjunction with another player in conjunction with a pick. Don't think so one dimensional, like one player for one player. Hey, Smitty, I can't get Bijan. Have you tried to make a dynamic trade Bob now go get Bijan go try and get him in dynasty and if you're in redraft right now and somehow some way can trade make sure you grab him before week 12 make sure you're grabbing him not at value you perceive him to have if he starts popping off but value he currently has in the fair market which is not anywhere near high-end running back one value if running back one value at all now, will we approach ranking him, drafting him with caution? We have to see what's what going into 2024 in the offseason. Will Arthur Smith be fired at that point? What's it going to look like in terms of rebuilding? How likely are they to get a quarterback? What's the motivation? What's the vibe in terms of replacing Ritter and getting an actual quarterback under center in Atlanta? Remember when Atlanta was our favorite for Lamar Jackson and they didn't make a single attempt and Arthur Blank said, I don't really want Lamar Jackson. We're rolling with Ritter. That kind of attitude and approach to the quarterback position is why we're in this mess right now. So a lot needs to be considered. A lot of moving parts in terms of where we're ranking Bijan in 2024. But realize that entering January 1, 2024, there will be a lot of optimism on this side of the table. And I, I assume you will also share in that optimism. Bijan Robinson, here's to you, pal. Let's do it live week 12 on from the fantasyfootballshow.com studios. It's the Fantasy Football Show.